Hello, Ragers, and welcome back to another episode of Rage It. Today, we're going to be taking a look at r slash facepalm. I'm guessing from your spelling, realize, that you're not native to America, and quite possibly English is a second language to you. In any case, I hope you're not annoyed by this. Just trying to help. Um, I'm British? I mean, to be fair, English is a pretty difficult language, and there's a lot of complexity to it, but it also comes from England and not America. Wind dies. Sun sets. You need reliable, affordable, clean coal electricity. Fighting for the future of PACoal.org. This is why Americans need science. I don't think they quite understand the benefits of renewable energies. Should Father's Day be banned because it's disrespectful to single mothers and same-sex couples? You gotta feel like this has to be a joke, but you just know that there are actually people out there that are like this. Speaking of, if you guys want to see a video of something like uh, triggered people or social justice warriors, leave it in the comments down below and I'll make a video like that. Hey, I had a nice time on our date, but... I don't know if I felt a spark. Sorry to let you down, XO. Yeah, no worries. Honestly, I felt the same, but I did have a nice time. Hope you enjoyed your coffee. WTF. <laughs> Pathetic. Pretending you don't care just because you didn't get a chance with me? LOL. Effing man whore. I hope your next girlfriend gives you AIDS. Okay. I see I dodged a bullet. Have a wonderful evening. Honestly, I just think this one's funny. After rejecting the guy and then him being okay with you rejecting him, you're triggered that he rejected you. How pathetic is that? What if there's a woman on your crew? What? Oh, uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm just here. Are there any women on your crew? No. Do you think maybe they're related? Uh... Thank you for being so brave and harassing the working class. The only woman I see isn't working, so the sign is accurate. I find it interesting we would take it so far that just a generic term is no longer acceptable. There are even some people out there that take it even further so that women is no longer spelled with men or man in it. Like, really? Reminder, that diabetes is a made-up illness doctors use to shame women for their weight and make money. Hashtag fat pride. Hashtag fat acceptance. Hashtag patriarchy. So I'm pretty sure that diabetes affects one-tenth of the U.S. population and also is one of the top ten killers in the United States. Also, it has nothing to do with men or women. Let's not make this about sex. Say no to plastic. Straws that are not made out of plastic, that's great. Oh, except the bag is plastic. Kind of defeats the whole purpose. Parents have been holding dangerous measles parties in New York City to expose unvaccinated kids to the disease. Well, that just sounds like vaccination with extra steps. Who wants their kid to get the measles when it's so easy to avoid it? White people. Asians all look the same. Also white people. Queen of England, Queen of Scotland, Queen of Canada, Commander-in-Chief of the Canadian Armed Forces, Queen of Northern Ireland, Queen of New Zealand, Queen of Australia, Queen of Wales, Queen of Jamaica. It's just the same picture, though. Welcome to the joke. I don't even know what to think about this. Who thinks that this is a good idea to design a... I assume this is like a toy or something? And who buys this? Imagine carrying a baby for nine whole months just to name it Josh. <laughs> LOL. Oh goodness, it's a lot of angry Joshes. I cannot make this up. These guys at UWF broke a free condom machine. Free. These guys broke into it. It's free. It takes a real idiot to steal something that is free. As tweeted by Tony Hawk, at rental car agency, can't find my name on the monitor to find my car. Go inside and wait in line. Finally get to the front. 
agent sees me and says, you really are Tony Hawk. Me, um, yes. I was looking for my name outside on the list. I deleted it because I thought it was fake. Well, at least he gets to meet Tony Hawk, and Tony Hawk gets an interesting story to tell. I love how he walks up, sees that there's a door right next to him, then steps over the door and closes the door behind him. At least he's a gentleman. Netflix and chill with Senator Cruz. All donors are automatically entered in a drawing for a chance to win a trip to Houston, Texas to spend a special evening with Senator Cruz. Does, does he know what that means? Lay your cash down for the chance to have sex with Ted Cruz. I mean, you would think somebody somewhere along the process of this would see that and realize how terrible of an idea this posting is. Like, you really couldn't have waited an extra five seconds? Florida man commits suicide. 47-year-old Jeffrey Hutchkins filmed himself jumping out of a plane to prove to the world that fall damage was just a lie spread by the government. Well, I have to admit, I tested this theory too a little bit when I tried to jump down the stairs when I was a kid to try to fly, but I was also like four In case you don't realize what's happening here, this woman is wearing virtual reality goggles and trying to take pictures of what she's seeing with her camera. Not the sharpest tool in the shed. Well, at least this guy is tying the bed down to the heaviest thing he can find. My dog was denied a bath and haircut this week because he needed updated shots, which I gladly took care of. Seems only reasonable to ask the same standard for schools with human beings. Call me crazy. Just to be here, I hope she's talking about denying kids entry into school, not that they're not allowed to take baths or get haircuts, because this would get a little bit smelly for me. New PC just arrived. Glad to see FedEx stress tested it by throwing it off the third floor of the warehouse several times. Well, to be fair, I don't see any of the bright orange or yellow fragile stickers, so I think that means it's pretty much fair game to do what you want with it. Bruh, she doesn't even resemble the character she cosplays. She just wears the same outfit and has the same hair. That's what cosplay is. You just described cosplay. I'm curious what this guy thinks cosplay is supposed to be. Babe... I almost hit an effing long-necked duck. I don't know what the F it is, but he was huge. <laughs> I believe that's called a goose. I think this dude needs a new girlfriend. Man who went to hospital to have bladder checkup is accidentally circumcised when NHS surgeons mixed up his paperwork with another patient's. What are you even supposed to do when this happens? Uh, nurse? Um... I seem to be missing part of my penis. Do you happen to know where it is? If the medical establishment can't handle less than 500 cases of measles nationally, then we should be looking at the inadequacies and incompetency of the medical establishment, not governing what people put in their bodies. It's a business, young man. $30 billion a year. Uh, if the medical establishment can't stop an outbreak we cause, it's their fault. What do you mean? Some people are just idiots. Let me endanger people's lives and then blame you when you're not prepared for my idiocy. Van Gogh Starry Night poster, $15. $15 or both this one and the Starry Night over the Rhone for $20. Uh, is this an original Van Gogh picture? It's a framed poster of his most famous painting. Does it have a signature on the back? 
The original painting is at the Museum of Modern Art in New York City and is worth like $300 million. This is not the original. It is a poster or reprint for home decor. Oh, not interested. Yeah, dude. You're going to get the steel of a century, an original Van Gogh for 15 bucks. Today, I had a young lady on the other side of my pump ask me how come I was not using the green pump and if I cared about the environment. I said, of course I care about the environment, but my truck does not take diesel. She then tried to explain to me that the green pump meant it was green gas to help the planet, and diesel is the name of the gas. I said okay, but I will still be using the normal gas for my truck because that's what it takes, and that she better check to make sure her Volvo took diesel because if it did not, it could mess up her car. She then told me it was her car and her choice to pay a little extra for the environmental gas. <laughs> well, best of luck. This is almost as bad as a video I saw of a woman trying to put gas in her Tesla. Don't believe everything you read on the internet just because there's a picture with a quote next to it, as quoted by Abraham Lincoln. It took me forever to get this, but once I did, I was dying. He wasn't even alive when the internet was a thing. That's the point. Another great example of welcome to the joke. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Rage It. If you did, smash that like and subscribe button. If not, let me know why down in the comment section so I can make the next video better. See you next time.